What kind of surge of coronavirus infection should we pre be prepared for in the coming months? Uh, they talk with uh, di the director of Johns Hopkins, um, who is Tom Inglesby. A great name for a great man, apparently. Um, so, how should we? How should states handle a vaccine rollout? Let's see what uh, Tom has to say. Okay. <laughs> oh crap! I hate politics. No, I'm being radicalized. No, it's okay. Your life will be your your life will be bitter, but better, friend. Um, unfortunately, the U.S. is in a dangerous time with this pandemic. Who'd have thunk? We have about had 30% of all diagnosed COVID cases in the world yesterday and about 22% of all deaths, despite having only 5% of the world population. Many states are seeing among the highest numbers of daily cases and hospitalizations as the and hospitalizations as they have seen since COVID started at the beginning. The public needs to take action to protect to protect themselves and their families and do what they can to diminish social interaction for now. And policymakers in places where virus sur surging should be increasing restrictions to activities and settings that are at highest risk. The pandemic has been surging ever since Biden became elected. Good job, Democrats. <laughs> Wait, Death, death before socialism. I can't tell if you're a parody account or like a really a real conservative. I, I can't I can't tell. But either way, good joke. I appreciate it. Um. But uh, wait, you you do know that like you do know that if if wait wait you know you know that if okay th this has to be satire. It has to be okay. Did you see my new profile pic? Uh. I. Seahawk made it for me and it's really cool. I didn't see it, but I'll check it out, okay? Um, there are some places in the country that ha that have so many sick people with COVID that hospitals may not be able to keep up with them in the days ahead. We have to slow down the rate of spread in order to keep hospitals in those places functioning. All right. Okay. Oh, wait, did he... Did he respond to it before he was supposed to? I think he did. Streets are on fire. Shot down. Alright. <laughs> it's true. It's true. Uh, there there has actually been a time machine DeLorean on every street in America. This is, this is Biden's America. Uh, time machine DeLoreans on every street. Uh, are there any states that aren't having at least some hospitals overflowing with ICUs? No, I don't think there are some states without that happening. Yeah. Uh, prioritizing healthcare personnel will protect the people who we are counting on uh, to care for us in this pandemic and who are among the highest risk in the country. Uh, and vaccinating those in long-term care facilities will protect those who have had greatest mortality since the start of this pandemic, approaching 40% of the deaths from COVID overall in the U.S. I'm, I, I don't know. Wait, why, why do you hate the DSA so much? I, I don't get it. I, I, are you, are you a bot? Can you respond to what I say? Because I'm, I'm also not in the DSA, friend. Did the DSA hurt you? <laughs> Someone in the DSA banged his wife. True. People in the DSA do tend to have massive penises. This is true. Um, also, like, uh, it, it's just strange to me. Uh, wait, are they are they singing lyrics? I want to know where all of these streets are on fire right now. Where, which, which city in uh, in America has streets on fire at this very moment? Hunter Biden. <laughs> uh, CDC Director Radfield says the next few months will be the most difficult time in public health history of this nation because of the stress on hospitals, 90% of which are already in hot zones and red zones. What does that mean for people who will need inpatient care? 
What is in shortest supply right now is healthcare workers. Places with greatest rate of spread in the country are seeing such high volumes of COVID patients at their hospitals might have to triage if they can't slow the epidemic down. Now, guys, I don't know if you uh, if you know what triage means in the medical sense, but it basically means uh, rationing healthcare. You know when they talk about uh, death panels. Uh, that that supposedly Obamacare was going to put up. Well, hospitals are basically going to be uh, having to put together their own death panels to decide who lives and who dies, who gets treatment and who doesn't. This is directly because of capitalism. Capitalism creates its own death panels underneath uh, pandemics. If, if there's a pandemic in capitalism, we organize our own death panels. The freedom, the freedom to have our own death panels. Isn't capitalism great, everybody? Um, yeah, we've currently got death panels and bread lines. It's, it's true. This is, uh, this is the future Republicans wanted you to have. Um, and uh, this is, yeah, capitalism is, is kind of cringe. Very true, very true. Um, you know what would have prevented this? A federal lockdown to slow the spread, to make sure that we didn't get to this point. I just went on Bad Bunny's stream and got banned. Who's Bad Bunny? I don't know who that is. Um, I Death Before Socialism, if you, like, un understand... We're not in the DSA. I, I'm not anyway. Um, I'm going I'm going to ban you because you're irritating me, but that's the only reason, okay? You you have a you have a good day. And if you come back with a new account, um, please just uh, just participate in the discussion, okay? That's all that's all I ask, really. Boop, boop, boop. A rare jack band. Actually, Ashley beat me to it. I couldn't, I, I couldn't, uh, I couldn't ban them fast enough. It's true. Um, I was making a case for why capitalism is good and we can mitigate the negative externalities systematically. I was gaslit as fuck. Wait, what? I, well, okay. So I agree. I agree that there, there are varying degrees of capitalism. We can mitigate the worst effects of capitalism. However, I would argue that history has taught us that even large scale, strong mitigation of the worst effects of capitalism, like what uh, FDR did with the New Deal, those get eroded over time by capitalism. So I would argue that a better solution to capitalism is just embracing socialism uh, as a as a path forward, because uh, socialism, by like like on a systemic level, prevents the kind of abuses that capitalism encourages. Well, but also uh, capitalism w was better than feudalism, like. It was an improvement over feudalism. It was better. Uh, living under capitalism was better than living under an aristocracy that could fuck your wife at any time. Yeah, th th this was better. But I think there are better systems than capitalism. And I think socialism, by most metrics that we can uh, quantify, seems to be a better option than capitalism. Because if capitalism fixed all of the problems that it's supposed to, our problems would be fixed by now. Exactly. It's the we're living in an RPG. It's it's the next upgrade. You know. It's it's the uh, you know we got to a new town. Time to buy a time to buy a new economic system. You know. It has allowed more people out of poverty, but it creates marginalized groups, which needs to be stopped. Well, but another part of it is it's allowed more people out of poverty. 
but who sets what is and is not poverty? It's usually people in power, and these people in power tend to be motivated by special interests now. So there's a motivation to basically put a poverty line that looks good, but isn't actually accurate. Most people in the world can't live off $1 a day. And I think like the international poverty level is like somewhere around a dollar per, per day. Um, yeah. I, I would rather live in a society without billionaires and have generalized wealth be uh, pretty pretty decent than live in a society with billionaires and have like people having to shit in the streets and live in tent cities. Um, so we should all be trans then? Sure. If you want to be, why not? Well, this is America, friend. If everyone collectively decides they want to be trans, fucking, fucking A, go for it. It's America, land of the free. Let's go! Indeed, indeed. Uh, our viewer Rob asks, once vaccinations roll out wider, what should we expect mitigation steps to look like? Uh, will be some time before enough people have been vaccinated for us to change overall approach to mitigation. We'll take a lot of country to be vaccinated to reduce the risk of transmission. Will still be important to wear masks, socially distance, avoid gatherings for a while. Our viewer in North Carolina asks, should people who previously had COVID-19 get vaccinated? Good question. Um... At this point, the guidance from the CDC is yes, people who've been infected before should still get vaccinated because we don't know how long immunity from natural infection will last. That guidance could change as we learn more, but yes, for now, uh, would get vaccinated when possible. Would super spreaders be more or less likely to get vaccines? Uh, serious Twitch, I'm not sure I understand the question. Yeah, my, my notifications blowing up blown up over on Twitter. Uh, the CDC found uh, uh, coronavirus antibodies in blood samples collected on the West Coast from mid-December, a month before a man traveling from Wuhan was believed to have introduced the virus uh, in the U.S. Does the revelation change how the scientific community thinks about the virus? It's a well-done study that raises interesting questions, but the test that was used to look for antibodies had a false positive rate that was high enough that people with positive tests from December could all have been false positives. Oof, that's not good. Not to say that small numbers of people with COVID may have been in the U.S. in December and early January, but if there were large numbers of people with COVID at the time in the U in U.S., would have expected to see uh, many more very sick people in hospitals. Uh, President-elect Joe Biden predicts we could lose another 250,000 to this virus be between now and January because people are not paying attention. True! Uh, predicts the death toll could be could reach 450,000 by February. Uh, what's missing from public health messaging? I think it's probably different things depending on where you live and where someone gets their information about the, the pandemic. The messages from the top of the government have not been consistent. There has been false reassurance given too often. Uh, I think it's likely that many people don't realize they themselves can truly make a difference in how fast this virus spreads. All of us can change the course of COVID. If we wear masks, avoid, avoid indoor gatherings, physically distance at all, and follow fact-based guidance. Uh, Dr. Fauci is warning of a surge superimposed upon a surge following Thanksgiving holiday. Will new measures, such as California's stay-at-home orders uh, for regions with dwindling ICU capacity, prevent hospitals from becoming overwhelmed in the coming weeks, or is it too late? It is never too late to take steps to slow this down. We will do better than we would have done otherwise, but the Thanksgiving surge will likely accelerate the rate of spread around the country. California is taking steps based on uh, what we have seen work in the U.S. and around the world to slow the virus down. You can see that in Europe, when they uh, imposed restrictions in September and October, many countries really changed the course of the outbreak and brought it under better control. California is doing what we should be doing now to keep hospitals from being overwhelmed with COVID, po COVID patients. 
Uh, other states are going to need to take similar steps. These kinds of things will make a big difference in the weeks ahead. There is a light at the end of the tunnel in the months ahead if we can all work together to slow this virus down until enough people are vaccinated to bring it under control in the U.S. Things will start to get better at, uh, in the end of winter, uh, beginning of spring 2021. Uh, and, well, that'd be, that'd be nice. That'd be really nice. It'd be really great. You can see it on top of Jack's head. Oh, gotcha. Ba -ba -ba. Yeah, yeah, we could we could lose almost half a million people to this thing by the end of the year. Very cool. Very, very normal. Um, you know, Lou, I, I love how conservatives come in here and they're like, yeah, it's it's not it's not a big deal if we lose uh, four hundred fifty thousand people. It's like the flu, you know. It's it's like the flu. It's it's basically the same thing. As if losing all like the equivalent of a World War II's worth of soldiers in a single year because of pre of a preventable illness is um, a normal thing to have happen. Oh, Epic Hatchet, I'm really sorry to hear about your loss. Um, I, I, I'm really, really sorry. <sighs> Counterpoint, if we get the vaccine out to everyone soon, I have to go back to regular school, which is scary and I don't want to. <laughs> Yeah, like, getting over 500k in three months isn't unreasonable. Yeah, this is true. This is true. We're we're in crisis mode, people. Like, especially if uh, they ha they do indeed have to start doing triage. Um, that's going to up the, uh, the fatality rate quite a bit. So, uh, important information here from the... Uh, uh, Tom Inglesby, the head of the uh, Johns Hopkins Center for Health. <laughs> 